Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I'll feature one unique toy that I have, which is a 3D printer. So I've been using this for 30 days now and I'm having fun with it. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you three things. One is the unboxing and the setup and some tips. Second is how do you print? And third would be showing you some of my creations so far. So here we go. So what I got is the Ender 5 Pro. And the two little boxes are extra filaments. Now let's look inside the box. They have this glass bed which is optional. Control panel. An extruder. This is the Y-axis. The actual bed with adjustable rollers. The X and Y-axis. Some tools. The guidebook. And this is the cord. It comes with the micro SD as well. A roll of filament. And this is the power board. And of course the base. And there you have it. Now here's the setup. Key and music. Here's the final setup of my 3D printer. All right, I really had fun building this one thanks to the guidebook. It was really useful, really easy to follow. What we got here would be the power board. You can set this up between 110 to 220. Mine is set up at 220. Next would be the bed. Um, this is where the printing happens. The critical part here would be making sure the bed is leveled and you have other YouTube videos that can share with you how to do it. Um, underneath here would be the nozzle. The nozzle basically is like your ballpoint who prints the stuff, right? Next would be your extruder. This is where you attach your filament and your filament is this one. Um, the filament is what you use to print. You have different kinds of filaments in the market. I'm using PLA. It's like plastic. And you have different colors as well. Then next would be your control panels, which I find very old school when it comes to interface, but still works, right? So just to share, this one will be your nozzle temperature, and this one will be your bed temperature. And for both, I when I do printing, I set my nozzle up to around 200 degrees, while my bed temperature should be around 55 to 65. All right, and um, this one will be your tree, your printing time. This means I just printed something for six hours. After building your 3D printer, the next one that you need to do is download your slicing software. The most famous one would be Cura because it's free and it's easy to use. So this is where you upload all the designs, slice it, and making it printable. And the next one would be where to get your designs. You can actually get all your designs um, through the internet. And again, the most famous one would be Thingiverse. It's free um, and they have, you know, thousands of designs that you can choose from. And now let me show you how to download the designs. So since Christmas is coming in, I want some decorations at home. I search Christmas ornaments. Maybe I can download this snowflake. All right, click here. So just download. All right. After downloading your design, you upload this to your Cura. So there goes our snowflake. Once you have it here, a lot of things that you can do, but at least for this one, let's just slice it. After you slice it, you'll see a uh, time here. This means that this is your Printing time, one hour and 30 minutes. So you save it in your micro SD, eject, and that's it. Now we have our little design in this little micro SD. Pop it in in your 3D printer. So it says card inserted, right? So you have to go to print from TF, then look for your design. So this, the, this was the Christmas ornament snowflake. So what it does, it's heating the bed 
it should go up to around 55 and uh, for the nozzle it should go up to around 200 before it starts sprinting so once it reaches your desired nozzle and bed temperature it will start printing so that's 260 to there it starts moving So as you can see, it's starting to print our snowflake. So we just have to go back here after an hour and 30 minutes. Like I said, it's one hour and 30 minutes. So here's our snowflake. You take it out like this. There you go. There. Here's your snowflake. Just remove the extra filaments I got Iron Man's as you can see I got Deadpool right I also made this for my wife she's a yoga teacher here and this one is a testament that not all prints are perfect I lost a limb just had to improvise uh, it's a Christmas ornament obviously pretty cool beautiful bowl that I am using for my clips. Okay, let me share with you the printing time um, for some of the models here for your reference. So this Iron Man took me 16 hours to print. This one is 13 hours. This one is 6. This one is 10 hours. And this little one is um, 5 hours. Guys, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a lot, especially if you're planning to buy a 3D printer. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.